Good morning, Magnang Umaga, and welcome to yet another episode of My PI Dream. Today is Thursday, I think it's Thursday, and it is build date 127. It's build day 127 on the construction schedule out at Villa Feliz. And today, I am going to talk with my builder if he's in first thing this morning, and uh, I, I want to discuss with him about a mm, about a diverter inside the CR, inside the basement. I didn't even think about that. We have a regular shower, but I would like to have a shower head that you can use for cleaning, you know, cleaning the shower, you know, like you, the normal wand type of a uh, shower. So I might run into town real quick, maybe go down to McKilling and see if I cannot get that little, uh, uh, a diverter switch inside here so we have a second avenue to be able to uh, have water flow inside the CR room so we will take a look at that hi uh, good morning my how are you <laughs> how are you today <laughs> so anyway uh, let's get started and uh, without further delay let's get today's video <laughs> underway Good morning. I have, a, I have a gift for you this morning. Oh yeah, how about all of here? <laughs> no, we don't know what we don't know what's in that sorry, bag. Sorry. We don't. Oh yeah, that's just that's we're just gonna call it a gift. How are you this morning? I'm good. How, how are you? Very good. The fish was very good last oh, night. Oh, uh, very good. Like I actually it? couldn't eat it all. I couldn't eat it all. Mm -hmm. So I'm a. Uh, yep, and I'll eat some more. Uh, probably tonight. Probably tonight. But it was it was very good. Thank you so much. You're Thanks so much. Oh. Morning, cow. Wow, do you see the clouds we have here today? Again, this is rainy season, and rainy season is rain can come at any time. I mean, and it, it, it can be on and off and on. Yesterday we got a little bit of rain, but not so much. It really didn't affect anything. But you see, I mean, we're covered, covered with cloud cover today. But again, that doesn't mean anything. In one hour from now, the skies might open up to be nice and blue. Oh, by the way, I want to give a really warm shout out to Paul Estill and his wife, Sonia. Uh, they are celebrating their ninth wedding anniversary. They got married uh, about nine years and like two days ago in Mexico City. So I want to, I want to wish you guys a, a happy anniversary and uh, many, many more. Well, let's get out to the job site and try to get things started for today. So anyway, on my way into, into the uh, job site, this way, I gotta stop, even though I'm late, I had to stop by. I always have to stop by and talk with Walter. And Walter, Wal Walter is doing, I said, Walter, what are you doing here this morning? And, and Walter, it, we, we have a lot of similarities. We, we like building things, we like inventing, like his, his wall over here and his plants and inside his uh, internet uh, uh, cafe that he has here. So what he's building, he's building his own karaoke, vid video I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's, it's the uh, vid video machine. Is that what they call it? Video what do you call it? Yeah? Yes, portable mini. Portable, portable mini karaoke. And, and he's building this and he's gonna integrate it into his own shelf system right here that has his, his, his uh, his playing device and things like that. When, when I can't wait to see it when it gets completed. Yeah. And completed. Oh, are you going to draw? Are you going to make no, any, any painter? Is this going to be nice? Uh, a mat, this one, uh, uh, sticker uh, adhesive. We'll have a cover have cover a cover on it. Oh. And then inside this a, a foam. Foam. Oh, in the foam. Yeah. Uh, so that doesn't da damage yeah. anything on the side. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see that. You are so talented. <laughs> All right, Walter. Yeah. I will see you. You have a great day. Ah, good morning. Good morning. I, I can see James. Yeah.
Well, this is never good when they got concrete flowing before I get here. I gotta find out what's going on. <laughs> So as you can see, we now have a west wall that's in the uh, the build phase for the first floor. So that's a good thing. And then there we'll be putting the windows. You see, like we have the windows up on the, uh, both upstairs on the second floor area, which that's actually open. That's not a room. That's just an open air space. Those same window spaces will be accommodated for the ones down there. And you see, we now have a septic tank. Uh, we'll wait for the the concrete to cure. And then what they will do, they will pull the forms for the manhole covers out. Then they will go inside the septic tank and they will remove all that cocoa lumber formwork inside there. Just like they will do eventually for the sump. Uh, you never want to leave that if you can avoid it. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Uh, if it's a sealed, if it's a sealed unit where there is no manhole access. Uh, manhole accesses are good if you ever need to do maintenance. We do not have a manhole access for the small, small septic tank that's inside the private uh, CR that's in the basement uh, so I'm hoping we will be okay I think we'll be okay because I don't think it's gonna get nearly as much use I know it's not gonna get nearly as much use as what we're gonna have on the top so anyway we are gonna take a run down to McKilling I just spent uh, a, uh, a long session with my builder talking about mm, the path forward on the roofing and uh, some other details of the house build and also the CR. I asked them I would like to get the CR in the basement closed out because they're doing the finishing. They are doing the skim coat on all the walls inside the basement. The only thing that's left undone is just a couple items. One is the CR and one is the where the windows are going to go. We'll, we're going to need to put the uh, two concrete hollow blocks high for the, the big windows that we we're putting by the stairwell. But they don't want to get that started yet or I suspect they don't want to get that started yet because they have to dig the trenching inside there for the, uh, the drainage that goes around the, f the, uh, the floor beam uh, that takes us out to the storm sewer for flooding. So we, we need to get that taken care of. So I understand why they haven't started that. So anyway, let's head on over to McKilling, uh, look for a diverter valve, and uh, hopefully we find exactly what we need, and then we'll head back out here for more construction. So they don't really have what I'm looking for. They have diverters, they have like, you see this is a three-way diverter right here, but this is not the one that I'm looking for. 
Um, I'm actually looking for the diverter that actually fits in with the wall system. It's one of these. It looks similar to this one right here. Well, it will, it will divert either up or down. It, it's a <laughs> one input and two different outputs. You can direct it uh, either a, a standard shower head or like the, the wand shower head here. So I don't see exactly what I'm looking for here. So maybe we'll run over to uh, Ace or Handyman and we'll see if they have it in their inventory. Let's run over to Ace and see if they have uh, exactly what we're looking for. I, I don't know that they will, uh, but we'll look. So I looked inside Ace Hardware and, and I don't think the, the standard for a separate uh, uh, diverter is, is common inside the Philippines. They might have it up at Wilcon, uh, but then that would mean I would have to take a trip all the way up there and their website sometimes doesn't show a lot of the graphics where you can actually see what they have on there. So I think what I'm going to do, there, there are different ways you can make modifications or you can actually use different kind of devices to achieve the same goal. So today what we're doing, I got Rose over here and Rose, Rose is my go-to girl for any plum. If, if you have any plumbing need or you have any question that has anything to do in this department, in the plumbing department over here, faucets or uh, sinks or adapters or anything like that, she will know the answer and she always helps me every time i come here and she always has she always has the answer if not uh, she can uh, direct me where i need to go so what she did today uh and this isn't even you don't even see this anywhere on the shelf but if you look way up there she has some secret stuff hidden away so that's her stash up there and what she did this actually is a, it's a stainless steel and water gates actually a pretty good quality she had me uh purchase a water gate one of the shower head devices, the, it, was a, it was also a diverter uh, from, a, from a water bib, and it was Watergate also, and you told me it was a hybrid, and it's working great, by the way, and that's what I have in my apartment. And Watergate does actually make some pretty good stuff, and it says professional product, whatever that means, I don't really know. Anyway, I wanna show you what we're gonna, we're gonna end up getting. This is, this is a face plate, I'm not gonna take this out of here. But inside, uh, if, can you open that up? So this is similar to a diverter. Uh, but it's not, it's actually a controller. It would be your, your normal controller that you would have for providing hot and cold water to a, a shower head. Uh, you would have hot water on one side and it actually, I think it says somewhere, oh, you see it says H and it says C over here. So you would put on the right side, you would hook up cold water, the left side you would do hot water and in the top, that actually, I keep saying actually, I gotta quit saying, keep saying actually. And the top will go to your shower head. Well, you can change, you can modify it. You're not modifying, but you're using it for a different purpose. This will act exactly like a diverter, but you have one additional feature that you would not normally get with a diverter, and that's an on-off switch. Uh, when, you, when you move this up and down, that's on and off. We don't need that feature, but it's okay. Uh, we, we, it, would be, it would go like this. If you go in one direction, it would go to the shower head. If you go into the other one, it would go to the overhead. One of these devices, which is exactly what we're trying to achieve. So we're gonna get this because it will work, it looks nice, and it will it will meet my objective. So Rose, thank you so much, and I'm gonna go grab this, pay for it, and I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat. Thank you. All right, well I got everything I need at Ace, so I think it's a good opportunity, and it is lunchtime anyway, so let's go grab a bite to eat.
funny, it's, it's kind of ironic. While I was here getting lunch, I got an email, and my email, uh, it's an email notification that my smart bill was due for my my uh, Wi-Fi, my personal Wi-Fi device. So I just ran inside smart and I just paid for that. So it was good that I was here and I got that out of the way. Probably wondering why I just got back from the mall and and the shopping for the parts for uh, the, the CR down in the basement, and why do we not have any videos? Well, today and you remember yesterday we had uh, two couples that came that were visitors here, and if you looked up on the board, up on the board you see the the names I and that was Reno uh, and and Grace yesterday, Judd and Olivia, and I had this question mark, this Joseph Norwood guy. And I, I had the, the July 16th. I didn't know because I received I received some information about Joseph, but I didn't have anything final. I didn't know exactly what date he was going to be here. And uh, lo and behold, uh, here I am. <laughs> here's Joseph. And uh, Joseph, uh, I'm going to do with you just like I did with the, the folks yesterday. They were here and um, kind of like introduce yourself if you don't mind, and, and oh. just say where, where you're from and, and tell me tell a little bit about. Why you're in the Philippines? Like I'm that. Joseph Norwood. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm in the Philippines visiting relatives. And I came to actually see 
my new um, Anatanak, which is my god baby. From a friend of mine passed away, and his daughter had a baby, so I was coming to see the god baby. Oh. So it was nice. It was very enjoyable. I got to see him yesterday. He's oh, that's a cute funny. little thing. Ah, yeah. I love I love babies. I love the kids. The, you, do you see all the kids in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. They just put such a smile on your face, don't oh, they? They, do. they? They're they're great. So and and your wife is from? She's from Cavite, Cavite. and she's actually at home. She had to take care of some water business today. And you guys have been yeah, married for quite a while. Seventeen years. Seventeen years. Yeah, so. And your home is? My home. Well, the home here is in Cavite in San Jose, and then we have a home in Atlanta. Yeah. And I work. Um, I work for Delta down at the airport. So. You, you get any cheap tickets for flying? I, I sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we do. Get a break on that one. Yeah. That's awesome. But well, anyway, uh, Joseph and I have been here. Uh, I came back and I was really surprised. Uh, uh, it was a good surprise that I got to. Uh, see somebody sitting in the, the back of the five coop over here. But I also got another surprise, and I want to show I want to show you what Joseph brought. <laughs> he came bearing gifts, and he brought oh, he brought all these. You know, Skippy's my favorite. He knows Skippy's my favorite. But not only did he get one, which is this was a Skippy with granola. Not only did he get two. This is Skippy with pretzels, which is one of my favorite. I love chocolate and pretzels. And then he got Skippy with double peanut butter. <laughs> and then he has here also, he has Skippy with graham crackers. So he, he knows what my, my weak point is there. So, uh, well, thank you so much for bringing me the Skippy. This is awesome. And we went through, we, we did a lot of talking and we went down like we did yesterday. And we, we walked through the house and I showed him the different places. So of course we didn't go up to the second floor because we still only have that rickety uh, cocoa lumber ladder over there and it's just too dangerous to go there but he's been watching the videos for quite a while and he know he's, he's been following the progression with all the pictures so he, he was very here he was telling me i didn't have to explain to him what all the rooms were he was explaining to me oh yeah i know that room i know that room and i know that room as well and what i'll do uh in just a little bit since we haven't covered because the guys have been working really hard today and there is a lot of progress that was done while I, because I've been gone most of the day. I was gone this morning uh, taking care of business down at SM trying to get the diverter valve and some of the uh, the PVC pipe uh, uh, ball, ball valves inside there for the for the pump room. And I was gone then, and then I came back and I realized, uh, oh, we have a guest. So we've been spending some time here. But at, before the end of the day, we'll do a follow up on the progress that was done because there was a lot of progress that was done today and I will talk a little bit about the, the, the next steps to come uh, things that I talked with my builder today as well so anyway we're gonna chat for a little bit more here and I want to I, I tell you what I want to thank you for coming here and, and spending some time and I, and I want to show you what he drove he didn't he didn't he didn't take a, uh, a bus he didn't he, he didn't he didn't take a private service uh, he didn't come in an SUV all the way from Cavite, that's what that's what Joseph came in the entire way is the two wheeler right there on his own. So, uh, but I think it was probably a nice, cool ride. Oh, it was a nice ride. Yeah, lots of nice city to go through. Oh yeah, yeah. Lots of city. Oh, yes. I wanted to ask you, what do you think? Uh, you didn't really get to see. Did you drive through the development much inside? Yeah, well, here? I came through from that way. From it, that it, way? it was really nice. Yeah, see a lot of nice houses. Yeah, this place is. Uh, it's nice and quiet. I, I don't know if you looked at uh, other subdivisions for over all the years that you've been visiting, if you took it, but uh, for me, we did, we were looking for different places when we came here, and I think this this is a unique oh, subdivision. Oh, it is, yeah. It's but, right off the beaten path. And, and you don't know about it. Cause you they, don't know. They, they do such, first of all, you don't know where, because it, it's off the beaten path, and they don't advertise it. You, you don't hardly You didn't see, see any signs. No signs. All the way here. I seen some for another place, but I was like, oh, well, we'll find it, and then... Eventually you turn around and go, oh, it's up ahead. Okay, there it is. All right, well, there goes the uh, the mixer. So that means it's time for me to shut down here. And uh, Joseph and I, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more. And then we'll do a wrap-up of what went on in, in the house build today. We'll be back in just a little bit. So anyway, Joseph has his own drone today. He brought, he brought his drone. And he's gonna do some drone shots of Villa Feliz.
Well, as you can see, it is 522, which means the, the crew got off at five o'clock and uh, Joseph is still here when we, I mean, we, we just been having such a good time together and uh, he, he's kind of introducing me to all the things that I'm, I'm forgetting about and all the neat technology and the conveniences back, back home, but that's okay. I, I enjoy my, my lushness and peace and quiet and uh, solitude out here right now. But what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna actually go and take a look at what was done today. We're gonna do the uh, cover of what got accomplished today because even even we don't know what got accomplished today. And I can see already they made a new form. You see this form right here? This is going to be the arch that's going to go above here in between the sunroom and the, uh, the great room over here. They put this together today, and it won't be long before they actually start putting that up. You can see they pulled all the formwork off the arch here. And eventually what they will be doing is they will be putting the plaster coat on there so it will cover and it'll be nice and clean. Um, you see anything? Oh, I can tell you what's obvious already. We, we have a new wall here. And the new wall is the wall for the great room. That's going to have the same windows, the same window size as the ones up, up in the top section. Remember, these up in the top are going to be automated. There's going to be a motor. We have power that's going to be uh, connected through to those and we'll have a remote control switch for that so this is done this is a brand new wall here Let's see if there's anything else that's obvious i know they said oh they started working on the floating stairs well they didn't start working we actually can see some of the formwork this is going to be the center the bottom of the formwork for the floating stairs to go up to the platform and i can see right now the design of the platform just like we have on the from the basement Coming up to the first floor, you see it's a multi-tier level instead of one platform all the way across. This is they're going to be the same on the second floor. So it's going to come up. There'll be a formwork for a platform. You go up one step for this platform, and then they will have some formwork that goes up to the second floor here. So I expect to see some really good progress on that in the next couple of days. Have you followed when they are doing the construction of all the stairways? It, it's it's quite a complicated task. Oh, it is. Yeah, it, all the measuring. He has all to the me while well, the measuring and and the formwork is first. They do the formwork, then they do the rebar, and there's so much steel re rebar inside there. And our our stair guy, he is he is he's meticulous, and he's detailed. And you can see just from the stairs on the uh, the back of the house, uh, the stairs from the garage coming up to the first floor, he gets it right. And I don't mind him taking because it takes. Normally it takes three to five days for him to get the, the stairway done. You can see the laundry room. The laundry room now is almost closed in all the way around. That's why it's so dark inside here. That's why we need this window, window. over here that's gonna give a little bit of natural light inside here. But of course, when this is done and it has the, uh, the paint, when we have the lighter color inside here, it will brighten up this room a lot. So you can see they got a lot of work done inside this room. So we're, the, the, the room is actually formed. Let's kind of take a look around the back, see if there's anything obvious back here. Uh, this one, oh, the, the, the closet, the wardrobe. You, see, you can see the wet portion. You can see how much of that they got done today. So they've almost completed the enclosure for the wardrobe on the bedroom over here. Let's take a look at this other bedroom. You see, any, you see anything that looks wet over here? No. I don't think they did anything over here today. Uh, uh, they did. The, they, they got the, the final top board. It looks like that. Uh, so that portion right there. I don't think anything was done on the lanai in the back. Let's uh, let's go downstairs. So as we are going downstairs, you see all this cover here. This is protection from the rain because we poured our septic tank today. And I can't get around. Uh, we, t we took some pictures earlier. You got to see, and you can see a little bit of concrete right here. And they're going to fill, you can see right here, they are going to fill this in, this portion right here, with uh, concrete. I think it's going to be concrete hollow box. I thought they said they were going to do a beam. I will find out uh, tomorrow because I think they will be pulling all this, this uh, tin roof off because it should be cured enough by tomorrow so mm -hmm. you can actually step on it tomorrow. And then we'll be able to see what's going on underneath that part of the stairs. This, I believe, was done yesterday or early this morning. This portion right here. 
all this is going to be closed and they have uh, this was cut yesterday so they haven't finished anything on the the drainage there in the basement in the basement we did skim coat this wall got skim coat today and I'm not sure what else got done here. I don't think we didn't do anything in here. I got they the. Were skim coat in there, right? Oh, they were doing. They were. were do, oh, they were doing skim coat for the upper level. Mm -hmm. So we, you see where it stops right here. Yeah. The whole room was only to this spot right here, but look where they went on the back side. So it's all the way to the roof. You can see they actually have uh, the scaffolding support inside here, so they could get up higher. So in the storage room, they are up to the roof in this portion right here. And I imagine tomorrow they will continue working all the way to the roof. And realize this is only the first coat. We have three coats with sanding in between on each one of those. So that's where we are down here. And uh, that's the obvious stuff. There's no telling what else got done. So, uh, but that's what I see that's obvious today. You got your knowledge for the... Oh, I did, get the, I did get the valve for the CR. The, uh, but we're going to call our um, uh, diverter, our, di our diverter up valve that we're making from a regular control valve. We'll make it work. They've been working on the back of the house. They've been doing plastering on the back, so they might have gotten some plastering done back there. So it looks, it looks a little wet back here. So I don't know if this was done today. I, I'm going to say yes. Yes, they have been. They were working back here. So you can see the plaster coat. So we're moving from the front of the house and we're slowly moving to the back. Because I can see where they, they stopped right there because that's the rough area. And they still have the, the, the line level uh, for the proper thickness. So they've gotten to this. So we are almost done with the east side of the house for the plaster coat. Well, anyway, I'm about to lose my battery. Uh, the battery is exhausted on the GoPro today from uh, the drive downtown and uh, the little bit that we had. I didn't take the time today to, to recharge it. So let me get this out really quick. Today was a great day. And I want to thank Joseph for coming to visit me today and, and bringing, bringing, he brought a lot of really neat gifts. And it wasn't just the, the, uh, the peanut butter items. He actually uh, hooked me up with some other stuff here as well. So anyway, today was a great day. You saw all the progress that got done on, on the house. And tomorrow is an, another day. Tomorrow I expect a lot more. And just remember on Monday, Monday they start to the trust work on here. And I'm, I, I wasn't able to check email today, but I'm hoping I have email for the air conditioning quote. And if I get that in, I will share that with everybody as well. So I'm gonna close for now. And uh, tomorrow is another day and, and uh, it's gonna be a great day. I know it's going to be. So anyway, uh, Joseph, uh, tomorrow is going to be Friday. And what bill day is tomorrow? 128 is tomorrow. Yes, 128 here on the construction schedule at Villa Feliz. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>